so bad. It's it's like so bad. That was cute. Like, I like him. Does he like me? Woo -woo. Reaching over to a dress to wipe them off. Classy. Hi guys. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about just like the title says, my August favorites. Now, it's crazy that we're getting into fall. I feel like it's mandatory that I open every video saying that it's crazy how fast this month went by. But if I don't say it, I'd be lying. So it's crazy how fast this month went by. But for today's video, I have an extremely random mix of like products and things, but it's more like lifestyle stuff. I feel like I didn't really change up many products this month, but I've done a lot of really cool and fun stuff this month. I found a really fun app, some cool TV shows, um, a new workout, like thing uh, and some new fashion stuff so with that being said I'm going to jump right in and I'm gonna start with beauty products first so I don't know about you guys but my skin tends to change with like the weather or stress levels or sleep patterns or what I'm eating and lately for the last few weeks uh, my skin I just felt like it needs more of a gentle touch and it needs some relaxation so the last few weeks I've been keeping it pretty simple on my skincare I've been using the Dermalogica special Cleanse cleansing gel and I've been using this to just like take the makeup off of my face and then put more on and then actually wash my skin after the makeup is off and then after that I've been using a lot of nights just my Tarte Maracuja oil like I've just been keeping it really gentle the last few weeks because I'm starting to get a feel like when my skin needs something and I felt like that's what my skin needed lately but that being said I love this cleanser it smells amazing it's got mint and lavender so it's very clean smelling and calming and it's really effective but it's gentle because there's no soap in here it's a soap free cleanser so I really recommend this you get a ton in the bottle and I just really really like it it gets everything off and it's gentle so I recommend that okay so the next product I highly recommend I've recommended this to death but I'm gonna recommend it again because I just bought another bottle and this is huge and I didn't buy the first bottle that long ago and it is the st. Ives daily hydrating body lotion with vitamin E now it's funny because they show pictures of like oats it looks like and vitamin E pearls but to be honest this really smells like cucumber to me like kind of light and cucumbery and I think it goes well with like any scent you're gonna wear because it just smells light and clean and more importantly this is the best moisturizer that I've ever found for me personally next to Lush's dream cream it's really really effective it's really like moisturizing you feel just like so moisturized and soft when you use this and it's only like four dollars so you don't really have much to lose I like highly doubt you're gonna hate it and I highly doubt you're gonna have a reaction to it because it's formulated for sensitive skin so I just really recommend this stuff if you're looking for a new moisturizer. I've said it a billion times. I love it to death. Okay guys, so I'm going to move on to like fashion-y products. So the first one are these sunglasses. Woof woof. I'm pretty sure there's smudges all over them. Like I have to reaching over to a dress to wipe them off. Classy. I actually got these sunglasses at Target. Target. I love them. I feel like they have a really classic shape. Um, now they're kind of like these lenses are kind of, I was gonna say see-through, but all like lenses are see-through, but it's like kind of like more sheer, like Bruce Jenner on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, but it's not like, they're not like creeper sunglasses. Like they don't look creepily sheer. You know what I mean? When like sunglasses are like so see-through, they feel like they're from like the 70s and you feel like the person's kind of creepy. I don't know, probably not true. I'm not saying you're creepy if you like those sunglasses, but you know what I mean. So these are kind of a little more on the sheer side and the lens is kind of purplish and I just really like them and I always get a ton of questions about them when I'm wearing them on Instagram. So I wanted to let you know these are from Target and I've been obsessed with them this month. I feel like they go with like everything. So the next thing I've been loving, it took me a while to dive into it. I don't know why, I always felt like I was gonna look weird in them but I've been wearing them lately and I love them and I don't think I look weird in them guys. These are the high top Converse's. I only have them in white, but I'm kind of thinking of getting them in black too because I really like them and I feel like for the fall, like the black pair, it's gonna be really like nice. And yeah, I just really recommend them. If you've been scared to try high top Converse's, don't be afraid guys. They're really, really cute and I've just been loving them. Okay, so the next thing is super expensive, but I'm just letting you know it's 
I love it and that is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and I bought this like last year and Rachel actually convinced me because she was like dude this thing is so good you're gonna get so much use out of it and they say that you can hold like I don't even remember like 500 pounds in this bag or something like that it's kind of crazy so they built it really really durable and let me just tell you I literally bring this thing like every time I have to go to like a shoot or something like that or if I'm going over to a friend's house or like to stay for a long time I was gonna say spend the night but that is a load of crap because I haven't spent the night at a friend's house in a really long time I'm trying to like come up with reasons but I swear I use it all the time I just can't think of any other reasons other than shoots off the top of my head either way this thing really does take a long time to get full it's really like you could just jam pack it and I love it and it's really nice I feel like this like the quality and the look of it it's just gonna last me a really long time I know Rachel originally got it with the intention of like being able to become kind of like a diaper bag almost and it's the same thing it's like I'm gonna be able to shove so much stuff in there when I'm a mom one day and I just really like it so that was cute the next item is this Revlon I want to say this is a half inch curling iron now I've had this for a long time but I never really used it very much because when my hair was longer if I used this it kind of made the curls like tighter than what I wanted I was really liked burping so I should probably stop talking I always really liked like loose full waves and these obviously create them much tighter but now that my hair is shorter when I use that big curling iron sometimes it doesn't give like any wave because my hair can barely wrap around it like more than twice so I've been liking using this one um very very frequently so people have been asking me a lot on Instagram when I do my hair like how I did my hair and this is what I've been using I take it I wrap my hair around it and I do it like all over my head in a bunch of different directions and then I kind of just shake my hair up and then I take my big curling iron and do my bangs so that's the description if you want me to do a video on like how I do it actually showing you I will totally do that you could just let me know in the comment section um, but yeah this has been the curling iron for those of you that are wondering that I've been using and that's kind of how I've been doing it so um yeah having short hair by the way is another favorite it's kind of crazy like it doesn't it's up in a ponytail like it doesn't look that short you guys have seen in my videos though it's short especially for me like I haven't had short hair in a long time it's funny because Michaela keeps telling me it's not short it's not even that short feels short for me so my next favorite is actually an iPhone app and it is the app called a beautiful mess now if you're a young and you probably already know about this app but I had to find out for my sister I was like hey Shana is there any apps that you can like put words on and she told me about this app called a beautiful mess she was like I like it I think it's my favorite one I found so far and I downloaded it and she's really right it's awesome you can add all kinds of like photo borders you can cut the photo out you can add little like scribble drawings you can add words across it in like a bunch of different fonts you can add different filters um, resize the photo and it's just a really great app and for 99 cents if you're as obsessed with taking pictures of everything and yourself like I am then the app is definitely worth it I love it okay so my next favorites are TV shows I've got two TV shows that are my favorites right now at this moment and they couldn't be more different if we tried to make them more different that doesn't make sense but the first favorite has been Breaking Bad. Now, this is definitely an adult content show, so um, yeah, but it is an amazing show, and the writers of this show, like, I'm not gonna spoil anything, so if you haven't seen it, don't worry, but I just have to get this out. The writers on this show are so incredible because, oh, by the way, I, I say I'm not gonna spoil it, but if you really don't wanna know anything, I don't know if I'm accidentally gonna spoil something, so you can just forward, like, the next, like, minute or so, but, diving in. I think the writers in this show are absolutely incredible. I was talking to my mom about it this morning and I think it's so interesting how they show like a normal person go from being a normal person to a drug lord. And I told her that what I found the most interesting about this show is they literally show the daily like little bits of his life as he compromises and shows what happens and where compromising here compromising there just giving a little there where you can eventually end up there's this book that she read and I read and a lot of people in our family read whatever called the slight edge and it's about making small choices and how 
really what gets you to where you want to be or the big things are the little choices you make. It's not like one big choice. It's like a series of little choices. And I feel like that's exactly what happens on this show. And the writers portray that brilliantly, but in a bad way. Like he ends up at such an extreme by a series of tiny little choices. And I don't know about you guys, but I always wonder like when you see people do crazy things like murdering people or being drug lords or whatever, I'm like, how did these, how did that person get to that point? And I think that these writers do an incredible job of exploring kind of that thought. Like, how does a person get to the point of being a drug lord? And they show, like, all the little steps and the daily compromises. And I just find it really interesting. So if you're watching that show, let me know, or if you've watched it, your thoughts down below, or your favorite thing about it, or I don't know. I just find the show really interesting. We watched all of the seasons on Netflix, and we're now watching the final episodes on AMC. They're, like, wrapping it up. And it's just incredible. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, and if you're watching, you're gonna probably laugh at me right now, but I'll tell you why. The other side of the spectrum is the ABC family show called The Vineyard. Very exciting. And The Vineyard um, was kind of portrayed to be a reality show like Laguna Beach or The Hills, and it's shot very similarly, kind of similar music. But the reason why I really love this show, and I'm sorry, Michaela, if you're watching this because Michaela was the one that got me into this, but it's so bad. It's it's like so bad. Um, and I don't mean this against the ABC family people. I mean it's so bad because it's literally just like like drama with like, I like him. Does he like me? No, I, he likes her. No, he likes me. It's just like basic relationship drama, and they're painting it as a reality show, but I would lay a lot of money, like most of my money down on the fact that it's not. It's really funny. We've talked about it a lot in our vlogs, but that being said, I can say all day that it's bad, but I'm like super obsessed with it just because it's really fun to watch these people in Martha's Vineyard live this like glorious summer life. So those are my two favorite shows of the moment. Okay, so my last favorite of the month has been Pilates. So I started working out at Yoga Works maybe like a month and a half ago, two months ago, and I've slowly but surely started taking more and more and more classes. Now, I haven't taken yoga because in the past, I just have had no desire to go. I never liked yoga. I tried it before in the past. It was not, I just didn't like it. But Yoga Works actually offers a bunch of other classes too, like TRX and Sculpt Works and Pilates and like therapeutic classes. And I've been taking a lot of these classes, but Pilates in particular, I have literally Really become obsessed with. It's kind of crazy. I can feel myself getting into better shape. I can see myself getting into better shape and it really hasn't been very long. Like I've done a lot of exercises in the past and I'm noticing a difference in my strength and my body from taking Pilates. And the thing is if you have a yoga works near you because ooh, I thought an ant was crawling on me. I guess they're a chain. I didn't know they were a chain when I signed up. But um, if you have a yoga works near you, I thought when I first went that it was going to be like super expensive and it turns out they're like not very expensive. You can get like an unlimited membership for like 50 to $75. It kind of varies because even though they're a chain, sometimes like managers will do run different specials and stuff like that. But I just really highly recommend it. It's an amazing like place to work out, a beautiful studio. It's kind of like you're going to work out at a spa, but then you actually get your butt kicked. So I just really recommend it because I feel stronger, I feel healthier, my joints are really liking it, and yeah. All right guys, so those are my favorites for the month. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're liking this month. I really like to change things up, which is a hint if you're following me on Twitter. And I just wanna know what you guys are liking, like lifestyle-wise, food-wise, beauty products, fashion, all that kind of stuff. I think that's kind of the point of like these videos in the comment section is to share them. Also, if you want to leave a video response with your favorites, that would be totally fine too. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, please. It really, really helps. Um, it's kind of like hitting the like button on Instagram, except it's on YouTube. And yeah, I guess that's it. I will see you all very soon. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and week, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Look out and see the world It takes everything we have to face it Without a sound we take a step Inside our hearts are racing